New details on the tragic drowning of a 12 year old boy at the Blue Bill Cove in Portsmouth. The boy's body recovered this morning, and tonight we're talking to frequent beachgoers and law enforcement who all agree the part of the water where his body was found is too dangerous for inexperienced swimmers. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is at the scene where a memorial is growing for that young boy and joins us now with more from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Steph? Todd, I've talked with many people on this rocky beach today where that boy's body was pulled out of the water this morning. They all had the same opinion. Something or someone needs to be warning people not to swim here. On the shore of Blue Bill Cove, near where a 12 year old boy drowned, Don Paquette and Michelle Castadio lay flowers on a makeshift memorial. All it takes is a split second for something like this to happen. The two watched Friday night as dive teams combed the water for the boy, whose father called 911 for help when his son disappeared under the water. We helped with the search. Paquette, a lifeguard, gave first responders her binoculars and told them where she last saw him above water. His body was pulled out Saturday morning. The water is so deep and so murky. Paquette has been coming near her whole life. She says only strong swimmers can handle the steep cliff and strong current of this murky water. This is not a place for children. They're way steep and then all of a sudden they drop off. Captain Howard Ty, who was the first on the scene of the drowning, agrees. He says every summer his team responds to calls for help here. We certainly don't encourage people who aren't familiar with the area to swim there. The Department of Environmental Management tells me the water is not designated for swimming, just fishing and boating, but there are no signs explicitly banning swimmers. I think it should be just preferred for, for fishing and maybe sunning, but to swim in this water is very dangerous. And that 12-year-old boy was from Providence. He was with his two younger sisters and his father when he died. I'm told by the DEM the medical examiner will be the ones to release his identity next week. In Portsmouth with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.